So hello guys and welcome to Tech Tricks tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about how to transfer money from Gate.io to bank. So it's a step by step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's get right into this. So basically to transfer money from Gate.io to bank, first you'll have to create an account of course. And you must be familiar with using Gate.io so you have searched this video. So to transfer money from Gate.io to bank, We'll get right into it as usual. So here you're gonna have your home once you open your phone or your gate.io. So here you have your trade and you also have your futures. You have your moments here and your wallet. So here in your home you will see that you can do lend or earn gate, wealth, startup and annual report. So here you have your assets right here and here you have your trade and other things like that like I mentioned. So the important one is actually going to your wallet. So here in your wallet, you're going to see an overview. So you'll be shown your overview first before anything else. So here in your overview, you will have a total asset value. Here you will have your total assets listed right here. And you can also do an analysis on how much assets you hold. So this is going to be important since you want to transfer money from your Gate.io to your bank. You must not, you must know how much assets you are holding in your account. So here, once you have calculated the amount you want to transfer money to your Gate.io to your bank, it's the next step. So here it depends on which type of wallet you have your assets on. It's either in your spot or even in your margin. So if you want it in just one place, just you do a fuzz transfer from your spot account to your, let's just say your delivery futures account, you want to transfer it there. It's just that simple, but let's just say you're, so let's say you're here in your spot. So all you have to do to withdraw this is of course withdraw. That's common sense, all right? So here you want to search your coin. So if you want to search your coin right here, you can do so, but there are available options off the table. So there's GT, BTC, Ethereum, and USDT. So we're going to go with BTC. And then here you have your withdrawal method and then from there you will select from on-chain withdrawal or your phone email gate UID or even your gate code or you can either do a fiat withdrawal. So we're going to do fiat withdrawal which is the easiest right here. So right here you can have a sell channel but I don't think there's a sell channel available right now. So here we're going to have to reduce our BTC so let's go with 10 so let's go with PHP oh it's not available so let's go back and just select USDT and try with this so as you can see here there is one recommended sell channel so let's say you want to sell your USDT for 1000 USDT that you're holding in your account and perhaps you want to receive euros from doing so so here there's a recommended sell channel so here we just press that right there and then the sell details will appear at the bottom so in your sell details you will see a timer in the very right corner of it this indicates that every 30 seconds this sell detail will reset to avoid any unwanted transactions as usual so here you have your amount so this is fee included already so it's already uh, deducted from what you're selling so here you're estimated to receive uh, approximately 873.56 euros so it was just 73 a while ago and that's 56 so you have to be quick in your choices since this will only reset every once in a while while you do so so here you have your unit price of a dollar equals 0.87 euros and right here you have your service provider named Banksa and your estimated arrival time will be around 1 to 2 working days. So this time is displayed for reference only. The actual arrival time may vary depending on country or even wherever you are and even your bank. So once you have done that, just press I have read and understood the agreements and terms below. So as you can see here, I don't have enough balance to proceed with this. So I'm just, I can't wait to proceed guys since I don't have any balance. So let's just say 0, 0.01 or something like that. So there's a limit for doing this. So you have 30 right here. 
30 and 40,000 euros. So let's just uh, do 100 right here. So there you go. It'll work now. So you have to press continue. And then from there, it'll redirect you to Banksa. So Banksa is going to be your third party seller for the, this transaction. All you have to do basically in Banksa is put your information like your country and your phone number and we'll verify it from there and then you will have to do your payment enter your payment and verify that you really own this account here in gate.io so as you can see we can go get the wallet and withdraw so there are different types right here so you want to do withdraw you want to do gt for example you also do on-chain withdrawal right here but right here that you'll have to enter an address of course which is not the bank transfer so you can also do if send assets through phone email get your id you want to transfer it to another account of gate.io perhaps and you want to withdraw it from there so the easiest way is fiat withdrawal right here like i have said so this is another example for your gt so let's say you have 100 gt coins right here and we'll be choosing a channel soon as it loads so it's not loading there doesn't seem to be any channels available for this so let's try and do with ethereum right here so let's see if it will work so there's none actually so it also same goes with your buy right here so we're gonna do your usdt for now let's go to buy and right here if you want to buy you have 100 so this is just vice versa perhaps you want to buy and sell this is what the payment a channel would look like. You have your MoonPay, ADB Cash, BTC Direct, CoinFi, and MoonPay. So every everywhere, uh, every type of address will have different amounts of selling and buying values. Since they are not the same, they also have different types of fees that they will charge you. You have your Gate Connect, which is for your Gate IO. So it has the lowest fee and it's the hottest, as you can see right here. So press this and then press continue. So this will go to your um, gate global UB uh, identity verification, just like your bank sell for selling. This is gonna be an example of how it would look like if you're gonna sell. So here you're gonna place your first name, last name, date of birth, nationality, country of residence, and other things like that. So you also have your um, identification document type, passport, if you wanna use your passport or driver's license. So it has photo requirements of course and your id number so once you have done that all you have to do is agree and already so from there that is all and that is how you to transfer money from gate.io to your bank it's just that simple hope you like this video and see you again next time thank you for watching